Hey guys, welcome back to another episode in the Modding with Fabric series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add items to item groups within your Fabric mod. So if we just go to our creative menu, we can go to the food and drinks item group, for example, and then we can scroll down and we can see our custom item added at the end. It has no texture, but you get the point. We've added it there and it wasn't there before. And the other thing that you can do that is pretty cool is you can make your own custom item groups. So if you have a mod with a lot of custom items, you can make your own custom item groups to organize your items better. So we can do page two, we have this weapons item group that we've created with a custom icon of a uh, crumbling anvil or whatever you call it. And then we have some items in here, so our spear and our banana. And that's pretty cool, right? So let me show you guys how you can do that. Baby, you give me ice and fire. Give me wind and rain. Some kind of butterfly. So like I said before, I'll be showing you guys how to do item groups within Fabric Mods, which is a way of grouping your items into different groups on the creative menu. Now to demonstrate to you how to do item groups, I've got these two items here, which are the same items that we played with last episode. So these are gonna be the items that we place into the different groups, right? And so we have two options. We can either put our items into a preset item group, which is an item group provided by default by regular Minecraft, or we can create our own item group and put our own icon for it too, which is really cool. But let's just go ahead and see how to put into a, one of the existing item groups first. So to do that, you're gonna do item group events and then do modify entries event. And then you're gonna pass in the item group that you want to put the item in. So it's gonna be item groups, item groups, plural, dot. And then you have these different groups you can choose from. So all the ones that you know about. So building blocks, combat items, color block items, uh, ingredients, inventory, natural, uh, stuff like that. So pretty basic, honestly. So we're just going to go ahead and put it uh, into the food and drink category. So this is where we're going to put our banana. And now that you chose the group that the item is going to be in, we're going to do dot register. And then inside of here, you want to provide a Lambda expression for modify entries. So you're simply going to do entries and then it's going to auto complete for you. So you can press tab if you want to open that up. And inside of here, you're just going to put the code for um, putting the item into the item group. So you can do that by simply doing entries dot and you have all these methods here. So you can do add and it'll just add it to the next available slot in the item group. So pretty much just at the end, right? You can do add after. So you can actually specify what item to put it after in the group, which I'll show you in a bit. Um, you can do add before. So the same thing, but in the reverse. And yeah, so let's just do add. And then here you want to provide the actual item that you want to add, right? So we're going to do banana. And that will just simply add our banana to the food and drink item group so that we can get it from the creative menu in game more easily. And before we test it out, I'm gonna add our uh, our spear to the weapons category. So I'm gonna do the same thing. So item group events dot modify entries event, item groups dot weapons, and then do register entries, and then do entries dot, and let's do add after. So like I said, you can do add, add after, and add before. So we're gonna do add after. And then we wanna make sure that it, we specify an item that actually appears in that group already. So we're gonna do, let's say we wanna put the item after the iron sword item, okay? So when we go to the group, the weapons group, we're gonna see it after the uh, uh, the iron sword, okay? So to do that, you're gonna do items dot, and you can just specify the item that you wanna put after. So items dot iron sword, there we go, comma, and the next parameter is the actual thing you would put in there. So spear, your custom item, right? And you can ignore that little warning here. It's just telling you that it's kind of an experimental feature, I guess. Okay, and then I made sure that I registered my items that I have up here, okay? So anyway, let's go ahead and test this out on the server. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this to start up the test client and I will see you in one second. Okay, I'm on the world now. So I'm gonna go to my inventory and let's go ahead and go to the food and drinks category and then we'll go our item group, whatever you wanna call it and scroll all the way down. And now we have our banana. Obviously it doesn't have the name and it doesn't have the texture that we have for it. It's just because I didn't add it to this new project where I transferred over the previous code, right? Um, but yeah, it's there. That's how you can add a banana to our food and drinks item group. And of course, you can position it in any place in the item group that you want based upon uh, the method that you use. So you can use add after, add before. If you want it to be in front of the K, you can, you can use add before, right? Pretty simple, right? Um, and so let's go to the combat section now. Combat item group. Where is that? Sword. Combat. And here we go, right after the iron sword, like we told it to do, we have our spear, which is pretty awesome, right? And yeah, so that's how you can add items to an item group. You can of course add multiple items with one uh, modify entries events, 
So you can add not just a banana, but anything that you want to add to the food and drink group, okay? Same thing for any of them. And like I said before, the other thing that you can do is actually uh, make your own custom item group. So to do that, we're going to go back up to here and we're going to add a new field to our class, private static final item group. So we're defining our own item group. We're going to call it weapons. So fabric item group dot builder. So this will allow you to build a new custom item group. First thing we need is an identifier. So new identifier. Usually you want to provide your mod ID. So item groups. And then you want to just give it a name basically as well. So we're going to call it weapons group. Okay. So that's a identifier for it. So you have the mod identifier and then the identifier of the group itself. Okay. And then after that, you can start adding stuff to the item group to build it into something that is custom. So we can do an icon if we want to. So you can actually specify uh, what the item group is going to appear as. So if we go back to the game, we can see that the different item groups appear as different blocks or items. So for this, we just need to provide, it's asking for a supplier of an item stack. So to do that, we can simply do this, which is another Lambda. So parentheses, arrow, and then after that, we can do new item stack. And so with that, you can either provide one of your items if you want to. So we already have a spear we could use or a banana, or if you want to use one of the existing items in the game, you can do items dot and then choose any of the items here. So we'll do chipped anvil. Okay. So that's for the icon. And then for the display name, we can do that. So for the display name, we want a text object it's asking for. So text dot and of, and then with this, you can provide a string for what it will appear as. So weapons, boom. And then we can do more stuff. So if you just look at all the different methods here, you can provide a texture. Just, I think that's for like the background of it. Um, doesn't say we have special, we have no scroll bar, we have no render name. Uh, so let's try no scroll bar. So that's pretty self-explanatory, I believe. So we'll build it now and that will just store an object into the weapons field here. So now that we have the item group, we can add items to it and you can either just change one of these down here if you want to and add items to it, or you can just add another one. So I'm just going to change the combat one to our custom weapons one. So here you just specify weapons because of course it's an item group. So you can just pass it in directly, right? And yeah, so instead of just adding the spear, I want to also add our banana because, you know, why not? You can add different items to different groups at the same time, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and run this now, see what it looks like in game. All right, I am back in game now. I just had a sip of Prime, so you know I'm ready to go. So I'm going to open this up. And now you can see that there's actually some arrows here because we have more item groups than can fit on the screen now. So if we click page two, we can see that we have our weapons item group and that opens automatically. And we can see our weapons here. We already have some in our, our hot, bar here, hot bar here, but we'll just add some more. But yeah, it would look better obviously if we had some textures for this, but you get the point. We now have a custom weapons item group, which are, you know, which has a custom name and a custom icon, no scroll bar as well as you can see here. Uh, pretty cool overall, right? And that's pretty much all I want to show you. Just as a recap here, we have our custom items, but you can actually use, you know, the already existing items in the game if you want to, just by doing entries dot add. And then where it's asking for an item stack, you can simply do items or we can do new item stack, item stack, and then items dot and then whatever item you want to provide. Okay. So you don't have to use the custom ones if you don't want to. Uh, but yeah, we have our custom items here. We add them, we register them, and then we specify what item groups we want to add them to as well by doing item group events dot modify entries event and then the actual uh, group that we're trying to modify and then we're doing register so whenever this event is listened to it's going to run this code here pretty much and yeah pretty simple stuff overall you can add an item by doing add you can also specify what slot you want it to be in by doing add before or add after that's uh, giving you more fine-grained control and of course you can make your own custom item group by doing uh, fabric item group dot builder giving it a, a identifier and then you can specify all the information so the icon the display name no scroll bar etc um yeah pretty simple overall i hope you learned a lot this episode and stay tuned for next episode we're going to be learning a lot more and peace thanks for watching bye bye all right so that's it for this video thanks for watching in the description below i'll leave a link to the code for this episode so you can check it out you can bookmark it come back to it later if you forget any concepts or you just want to review the concepts i taught in this video i'll mark everything up with comments so you can come back and read the code without having to rewatch the video although your reviews are greatly appreciated 
So yeah, I'll leave a link for that in the description below, so make sure to check it out. And uh, another thing is I'll leave a link to our Discord server. It's a big community for programmers. You can ask for help on your programming projects if you're stuck on something, or maybe you can get some new friends. If you don't have any friends, there's lots of people here. It's growing really fast. You can get, uh, you can find lots of people who are passionate about the same things as you. For example, if you like Minecraft uh, spigot development, uh, you can find people, lots of people who like that. If you like C++, you like Java, if you like web development, it's a really, really big programming community. So uh, feel free to join. There's a link for that in the description below. And the last thing I want to tell you is that if you want to support this channel, you can click the join button below this video and you can join this channel as a member for as low as 99 cents a month and you can cancel at any time. You get some cool perks like early access to all of my new videos, a cool rank on my Discord server like you see right here on the side, YouTube members, and also you get to see yourself on the screen like you see right now. So if that sounds cool to you, feel free to join. If you don't want to, that's fine. If you can't, that's okay too. Um, I really just uh, appreciate you watching the video anyway. And uh, thank you. Thanks a lot. And that's it. So if you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And peace.